Hello and welcome to class 9 computer applications. So the chapter that we are going to discuss today is cyber safety. This is the part 4 of this particular chapter. I hope you have watched the previous parts of the series. If not, you can always go and check out. I've given the link in the description. So today's topic of discussion is confidentiality. So let us try to understand what confidentiality is. See, all of us use internet in some way or the other. Most of you have various social media accounts like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. There are certain things which we want to be visible to everyone, means to the public, but there are certain things which we want to not be visible to the public, like bank account details, our address, our phone number. So it must be ensured that all information that we store online should not be visible to the public. Certain things should be visible to the public and some other things should not be visible to the public. So confidentiality of information ensures that only authorized users get access to sensitive and protected data. So not all users should get all your data. Only the authorized users should get access to your data. So there are certain practices which we must keep in mind while being online. So let's try to see what these practices are. Use firewall wherever possible. Control browser settings to block tracking. Browse privately wherever possible. I'll be discussing each point in details. Be careful while posting on internet. Ensure safe sites while entering crucial information. Carefully handle emails. Do not give sensitive information on wireless networks. Avoid using public computers. So the first point is use firewall whatever, wherever possible. Now let us try to understand what a firewall is. A firewall is a program that monitors all communications and traps illicit packets. So whenever you are browsing something online, the packets, the data packets or the data is coming from outside. So what a firewall does, it checks whether the data which is coming from outside is safe or not. If the data is safe, the firewall allows the communication. If the data is not safe, then the firewall blocks the communication. For example, a firewall is just like the watchman of our house. What is the main work of a watchman? The wa watchman will check that the persons entering our house is an authorized person. If the person is suspicious, then the watchman will not allow that that particular person to get into our house okay so a firewall does the same work it will check the data traffic which is coming from outside and in some cases it will also check whatever data is going from our end to the other side of the website okay so hence it is recommended to enable firewall such that incoming and outgoing traffic can be monitored so the first thing is use firewall wherever possible. A popular example of firewall is Windows firewall. Whenever you install Microsoft Windows, firewall comes inbuilt. It is also available for other operating systems like Mac OS also. Next point is control browser settings to block tracking. So in one of the parts of this, this particular chapter, cyber safety, we have discussed about a thing called cookies. What is the main work of cookies? Cookies will tra generally tracks our activity online. So what we should do, it is recommended to turn off your cookies in the browser settings so that the websites cannot track the browsing history of a particular website. So what you can do, you can just go to the browser settings and you can disable the cookies. What will happen if you disable the cookies? Those websites cannot track you. Browse privately wherever possible. So to avoid tracking by websites, you should try to browse privately as far as possible. I think you remember that in one of the parts of this particular chapter, I have talked about a term called as incognito mode. Okay, it is available in Google Chrome and it is available in various other browsers also, but by different modes. So you should try to browse through these modes, these secret modes or incognito mode or private modes so that others cannot track you. So using incognito mode or private mode or secret mode, 
prevents websites from knowing about your search pattern or history okay so we should ensure that we give out minimum amount of information to the websites as far as possible next is be careful while posting on the internet so while posting anything on the internet you should at least see that you are not speaking anything which is against the law of this country okay because you may be penalized if you try to speak something against the law so always keep in mind it should be mind that whatever you speak online is not against the law why whatever you post online can be taken as an evidence even after you delete it because of your digital footprint let's say you have posted something online and after let's say five minutes you realize that whatever i'm posting it is not correct then you may delete it but even if you delete it if you post something once online something remains there which is known as the digital footprint okay like someone can take a screenshot of it someone can download your status and all so you should very be very careful before posting any such status because it is irrevocable because of the concept of digital footprint so what is normal footprint let's say you have a muddy area and if you walk over that then your footprint will be visible even after you cross it similarly once you post something online it will be there forever even after you delete it ensure safe sites while entering crucial information so always recheck the url url means the web address or the website address while entering sensitive informations like address contact numbers debit card credit card details so what are sensitive information your house address is a sensitive information your contact numbers your debit card credit card details all these things are sensitive information therefore whenever and you are entering sensitive information you should ensure that the site where you are entering this information is a safe site okay so that your data may not be stolen ensure that the website is https and not http this is a very important thing how do you know that a website is safe if the website is https you can just check in the url part it will have a padlock it will have a lock with a green color icon if the lock is there then you can say that the website is safe if the lock is not there then you can say that you cannot say that the website is safe but if it is an http site then it is not safe okay let us try to understand it so let's say you are visiting a website and it is an http website then intruders or unauthorized person can see the data as you are sending okay let's say you are sending abc let's say you are sending abc then others can see your data as abc itself but if it is an https if you are sending abc it is encrypted let's say abc will be converted to xy dollar then if someone else sees the data also that person will see it as xy dollar but the actual data is abc okay so if it is a, if it is an http website then it is unsafe but if it is an https then your data is encrypted that means the data will not be sent in the form in which you are sending it it will be in encrypted form okay so even if someone is trying to see your data he or she will not be able to see that data so https will be a safe website you can just have a look at the url if it is at the very beginning of the url if https is written it is safe if http is written then it is unsafe http stands for hypertext transfer protocol and https stands for hypertext transfer protocol secure carefully handle emails while opening an email make sure that you know the center sender so you should not open any and every email you should open emails only if you know the sender from where the email is coming do not open attachments in email from unknown sender so let's say you have just clicked on the uh, a particular mail and you have found out that you do not know the sender 
then that sender might send you some PDF files, some MS Word documents. You should not click on those documents because as you click on that those documents, you may be redirected to a fake website and your details may be hacked. Always verify the email address of the sender. So this is very important. You should always verify that the email address of the sender is a legitimate one. Emails containing sensitive information should be deleted after viewing. If someone has sent you an email with some password or very personal information, then you should just view it and note down the details and after noting it, you should delete that email. Because if somehow your email account is hacked, then your personal information will also be taken by those hackers. Do not give sensitive information on wireless networks. Wireless networks means Wi-Fi networks. So while using Wi-Fi networks on public locations like railway stations, airports, etc., make sure that you do not open any website that requests sensitive information. Let's say you are on the go, you are traveling from Guwahati to Mumbai. So in the airport, even if, I, if you are using Wi-Fi, you can use it, but for listening to songs and for browsing YouTube and all, but try to avoid giving sensitive information while you are using this wireless networks. Sensitive information includes bank details, address, contact number, credit card numbers, etc. I have already said what, uh, what comes under sensitive information. Avoid using public computers. Okay, as far as possible, you should avoid using public computers. So do not use public computers as far as possible. In case of emergency, if somehow you need to use public computers, then you should follow certain precautions. These are the precautions. In case of emergency, make sure you browse through private mode. Okay, so if you are using a public computer, do not use the normal mode. You use the incognito mode or the private mode. Do not save your login details. So if you suppose, if you are logging into your social media, account from your friend's browser or from your friend's computer then just after entering your login details a pop-up will come which will ask you to save your details please click on the option that you do not want to save your login details because if you save your login details if you after you complete your browsing your friend will be able to access your account disable features that store passwords it goes with the previous points. You should disable all the features which asks you to store your passwords. Properly log out before leaving the computer. Don't forget to log out while leaving the computer because if it is a public computer, someone else will come after you and he or she may temper with your account. Don't leave the computer unattended with some sensitive information on the screen. Let's say you are entering sensitive information through a safe website. Okay, the, safe, the website is safe. There is no problem. But after entering, if you are leaving that screen as it is, and let's say you went somewhere, then if someone comes in the bit in middle, then he or she can see your sensitive information. So if you happen to go away for some time, you should just lock your computer. In Windows, you can just press Windows and L and it will lock your computer. So based on today's topic, these are some related questions. You should try to solve this question. I hope you have understood the details about confidentiality and the measures in which your confidentiality may be preserved. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you again in the next part.